next video i will show you how can you query your csv data in just two lines of code and here we are using openai langchain agents and python as a programming language so let's get started the very first thing we need is we need to import few packages so let's get started by importing them so we'll say from langchain dot agents we are going to import csv agent so for that we need to say create csv agent and the next thing we need is llm so we'll say langchains langchain dot llms import open ai which is our llm okay these are the two things which we need to import and then we will go ahead and write next two lines which are actual lines of code i was talking about and here we need to first create the agent and that can be done using create csv agent let me grab this from here and paste it here so it's going to take two parameters the first one is llm so you can pass in any parameters or based on your scenario all the parameters which uh, open any accepts will go inside this parenthesis and then we need to pass in the file name which you want to analyze so in my case it is hbomax.csv this is my csv file which is holding information about movies and series their popularity score the kind of movie and some description about it along with when it was released okay so here we are creating the agent and next thing which we need to do is we need to just run this agent so we'll say run agent dot to run and it is going to take question as the parameter so let's say i want to ask which movie is having highest popularity score let's go ahead and run this And it is saying that the movie with the highest popularity score is Wizard of the Ooze. So let's see here. I can quickly show you the data in the text format so that we can visualize it. So last column here is the popularity score. And here we can see in the first line it's 22. Then we have 56. So if you will see all the last numbers, I mean all the numbers at the end of each line, you would see that the highest one here is just 56.631 which is this third row and the movie name is exactly the same what we have received over here. So this way you can query and you can see that we just wrote two lines of code except importing our packages. So this is how easy it is to do it whenever you are going with LangChain agents. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and make sure to give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if not already done. Thanks for watching.